Hi, and welcome to Gadget News and Review. We are home to some of the coolest gadgets, and the best consumer reviews online, buyers guides and features. If you like our review please subscribe for more upcoming reviews videos. The Apple iMac's 5K display remains a gorgeous standout feature, and if you need top-notch performance, the high-end CPU and GPU options are justifiable extras. We only wish every buyer got to enjoy a responsive iMac with an SSD. Apple didn't really celebrate the 20th birthday of the iMac in 2018, skipping any kind of hardware update or special anniversary edition of one of its best Macs. However, the iMac 2019 has arrived, and it's better than ever with new high-end configurations. This new iMac has a 9th generation Intel Coffee Lake Refresh processor, up to an AMD Radeon Pro Vega 48 graphics, plus super fast 512GB SSD, rather than the typical hybrid SSHD in previous iMacs. However, if you put the iMac 2019 alongside the 2017 model, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference without turning it on. It's the same tapered body design Apple has been using with the iMac since late 2012 the longest it's stuck with any particular look for the all-in-one, if you ignore minor changes to port selection and keyboards. Design as noted earlier, Apple has been using this look for the iMac for more than six years now. Make of that what you will, but there's not much to complain about. The one obnoxious thing is right in your face, though, the display's thick black bezel and the aluminium chin beneath it look increasingly old-fashioned. Apple has managed to trim some of that fat from all of its MacBooks, on which doing so must have been more of a challenge, but disappointingly Apple doesn't seem to be in a hurry to do the same for its all-in-one desktop. Changing the overall good look isn't urgent, though. This particular iteration has aged gracefully, and continues to be elegant where the thicker models from 2011 and earlier didn't. That is, when you see it from any angle other than head-on. The back's gentle curve helps even a computer this big to appear low-key among its surroundings. We're pleased with the IMAX heat management, too, even when putting the high-end components in our review unit through a tough test. Our HEVC video conversion in handbrake comes close to maxing out all 16 virtual processing cores. Despite that, the IMAX fan was quiet enough not to be distracting, even while chucking a good amount of heat out of the rear vent. Mousing around you get a wireless mouse and keyboard with the iMac. We wish Apple would allow customers to reject them to save money, you may simply not get on with the mouse's shape and lack of key travel. Though Apple sells the Mac Mini that way, that initiative dates back to the aughts, when it wanted Windows defectors to keep using their existing mouse and keyboard. It was an implicit acknowledgement that you were probably happy enough with those accessories. Apple's Magic Mouse 2 continues to raise eyebrows over its lightning charging port being on the bottom, which prevents simultaneous charging and use. Some people don't get on with that mouse, either due to its low profile or because they accidentally trigger features thanks to the touch-sensitive surface. The ability to turn off gestures helps with the latter issue, and you can tell the right side to act as a right click, rather than having to hold the control key. One option is to swap the mouse for a Magic Trackpad 2, $50 per 50 pounds per 60 Australian dollars at checkout. You might find it easier not to trigger gestures when the device used to move the pointer doesn't slip around under your fingers. The laptop size Magic Keyboard can also be swapped out for a version with a numeric keypad that is also wireless, $30 per 30 pounds per 30 Australian dollars at checkout. But, key travel on Apple's keyboards is generally low, which you may find uncomfortable enough to warrant adding a third-party alternative. Link below video, one-time offer to buy the iMac for under $485.